this girl that I'm giving you. Me. I'm shy. I'm I'm the shy me. one. Like, I'm my face not even look like it's ready. Me passionate. Like, you've been recording the whole journey from the, our house all the way through to wherever we went and come back. So you're, you're passionate. You're kind of passionate. Three or four times, just uh, yeah, but in a week. Yeah, you annoy me? And let me tell you, you know, let me tell you. I know because you're not Hold right on, now. you're not my friend. Well, sometime. Because you're not my friend when I tell you you're not my friend. <laughs> <sighs> I know, that, that, that hurt. That hurt. I know it did. Yeah, don't, don't, don't listen to that. She's not going to know this. She's my one and one day, I mean, can't say it out loud. Yeah, of course, she's my best friend. I mean, who else do I have? I mean, my, 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 my circle is very small. Very, very small. So small. So small. So, and she's like, right there. You know, I can't like, I can't throw anything. Anything, just about anything. You walk it on the earth. You wind me up a lot. I think she like a boy or a pass well. I like it. I think you do. Huh? You're hilarious. 
Yeah man, but you hear the aggression piece and all that. I believe her enough because she <laughs> when she ready to chew her thump, you know. <laughs> I chew. When she ready to chew her big punch for me. I'm just muscle up. And I just bounce off of me. Yeah. Why is it? <laughs> Romario liked to sort of play fight. Oh man, he loves that. He laughs. Uh, you know what? Guess we've always cheering on me. <laughs> He's always cheering me on. Is Mario? Your wind up motion as well. Oh, you know, I mean, is huge. He's in his arm. Um, He's tall. But Mario's a wind up motion as well. Yeah, man. So, yeah, we've been there, people. We've been there. We've come from far, you know. We've come from far. Been there through the hills and through the valley, but God kept us, He, re he rescued us from situations where, boy, if there wasn't for love, man. Talking about wrong. that, sorry, talking about that, yeah, if it wasn't for love. So, yesterday I went to my um, God niece's house. And um, you know, my god niece is only one's 19 and one's 25 and they're quite mature for the age. I think that they're big women to be honest. Hold on, I mean, yeah. where, where are you supposed to if you here? Social distance. Excuse me, I went, 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 Listen, I went there to go and, because I, I helped clean the house, you see, so that's why I went there. That's how I excuse people, I listen to her. Anyway, <laughs> let's bring that back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, because um, I was on Zoom with my... Well, 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 how they asked me, I'll you know, I'll speak to that relationship knowing that when you first meet a man, make sure you go get you know certain checks are in place and you know you get to know their background and whatever. And they started asking me questions about Ronaldo and saying people are my age group are all materialistic. We only want a man who's got money and nice car and can give you, um, give you, um, you know, everything that you really want. And I had to let her know that not all girls are like that especially myself because i hope you don't mind me sharing this when i met ronaldo ronaldo never had nothing is that not right like, yeah, yeah. He, he didn't have nothing like That's i'm telling right. you i met ronaldo the first time in his car um yeah that was <laughs> what was it was it, was it a rover what is it rover i don't know what car you Ro it was a rover 620 i don't know what car it was but we, i met him and in the his people car. Know what car we know I met him in his car, um, up by Sheldon, and then um, I was only there for about five minutes, and you know, um, yeah. How did we meet actually? I met Ronaldo. Oh, oh, oh. don't tell him. Anyway, it don't even matter. We're gonna make a blog with that. Okay. So anyway, I met him about three times, and the third time, um, I think I went to his dad's office. He used, he, they used to have a company. And before, and he's like, I said to him, he asked me if I was hungry, because them time I wouldn't even talk with you. Oh, if I was hungry, I'd make a wing catch up beside him, I'm not speaking. So, he was like, oh, um, are you hungry? And I'm not really answering, but, you know, he went to go get food, but we went to Tesco or Asda, do you remember? Asda. One of them. And Asda Prairie Bar. Yeah, okay, Asda Prairie Bar. And he went to go buy yogurt. And I was like, yogurt, not going to feel my belly. Yogurt? Yes, them yogurt there with the orange thing on top and the cream. For you? For you? you For went, me? Yeah, you end up to go buy, I think you probably was going to buy stuff. So you bought yogurt bread and I think you did like some lunch meat or something. Oh, what? And it? Was it for, oh, okay. Well, I, believe I was in, like... I believe in lunch meat, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, do you know what yogurt I'm talking about? Them creme thing that you have, it's got like toffee at the bottom. And oh, that that's, cream. that's not yogurt. Whatever yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, okay. 
like, you know what I mean? Like, is this what you're gonna feed me? But I thought nothing could be, you get me? I got one in my pocket and go buy myself some food. But anyway, I saw him start counting pennies. Remember? I don't forget that though. The man was counting pennies and had his calculator. Calculator? But he was adding it up. You mean a pen? Yeah. Oh. And I was like, Oh, you had a calculator on your phone? Oh, on my phone? Yeah. So I was like, yo, is this man really counting pennies and two pences? What what on irks, ladies? What, what would you have it? done? Oh, what, what would you have done if a man <laughs> you met a man for the first time and you say you're hungry and it take you to Tesco? I think I think it was Asda. I think it's Asda, yeah man. I remember the day though, I won't forget that. And then start pick up bread and lunch and meat and well, she say she say yogurt, but it's not yogurt, I don't think for the name. Anyway. And then in my count pennies. What would you have done? Comment on the blog. Carry on my friend. Anyway, so he was cutting the pennies and had the calculator on the phone. Yo, let me tell you something. I felt shame. Shame. Shit. Why, why, why are you shit? You got pennies in your hand, you're counting, and you got calculator. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Never. I felt like really well, embarrassed, like we're paying for the stuff and that. And I, I was so embarrassed inside, but for some reason, it didn't put me off. Maybe it should have, but it didn't. Why did it? it? I, I don't know what it is, but it did not put me off you. And trust me, I'm a girl that actually. I would like a man to not be rich or as long as you've got money in your pocket and you're okay but you, know, you never really had no money in your pocket wait, you were wait, counting wait. you know what that day you know, each time each they always remind me of this and even, even myself i can't believe i really did do that but maybe i didn't have the money on many times i probably thought i had then realized whoops i didn't have so maybe one of those situations because obviously it would have been easier for me to say, um, Dad, give me a, a change, whatever, whatever, and check it. So maybe, maybe, maybe lose. So what were you doing, checking me? Trying to test me? Well, I mean, you know what I'm not here now, but you know what? I am happy it happen because, you know what? I'm happy it happen because when I did, it stayed on my mind. I'm thinking, you know what? She's cool enough. And she really is cool to not really have that against me. And um, whatever, whatever. The thing is, after that day, I never ever seen you do it again, and I never see you like without money. That money didn't seem to be an issue, so I still that can't get my reason. head around it. Something for a reason. I will never forget that day. Something for a reason. But I still remain, and this is what I was telling them young girl yesterday that money is not everything. You see, people. So you see what I go on. So these people these days. But them, what, well, man, oh, oh, these young ladies nowadays, I'm glad they mentioned that the first thing they look at, Ramar, yeah, that thing is too loud. Or turn, if you know, I listen, turn it off. I don't know, copyright I'm, I'm, I'm a thing. Yeah, these young, sorry, people, these young people nowadays, what they look at is six pack, the car where you drive, and all of that. You understand me? But they, call, they call it infatuation. You know what I mean? They don't look at the heart of the person. But to me, I don't think your car was that bad because after about a week or so, you was driving a Range. Was it no, a Land Rover? And a Land Rover back then was all right. Yeah. Like you driving a brand new one. Well, it wasn't brand new, but it was. Yeah, it looked good. It but any, but any, good, but, like, but but anyway, when we have oh. people, especially young girls, who are listening to this vlog, young boy too. When you meet somebody. Don't worry about what they have. Just think about the heart, the person, because that's what's gonna make it. That's what's gonna make you one a person. You see what I mean? Because if you go to them because of the six pack, I had six pack before, you go on in you can put on weight. Yeah, see, it can happen. The man can put on weight and it's like, wow, that, 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 that chicken, what they call it, six pack. Chicken, chicken chest thing where you're. When, when, when you, well, I, well, I, yeah, listen, listen, I, I, this is not joking. You know, listen, it's careful of young people. When, when you're not going at the relationship, them, yeah, 
I look for, I look about looking for chicken chest, man, with, with six pack, yeah? Why eventually at me, you know? You see, little, little hard time, not even hard time, because man seem to put on weight sometime, not because of, um, purposely put it on, but it could be medical situations. Or oh, somebody just crave like myself. But you know what I mean? Yeah, me, me greedy. Me, me, me cook a lot of food, you know. Me, me, I, I'm a man who cook my food and eat. But now it looks like he cooks like he's, he's cooking for the whole the, the, yeah, the yeah. So with me and my fault still and you know I'm, I'm not proud of it. You know what I mean? But yeah, but yeah if you if you if you pick up smuddy just because of six pack, what will happen? If they get craving or a sickness or whatever, cause they put on some weight, you leave him because the, the, the chicken, the chicken chest gone. You know what I mean? And then there'll be heartbreaks. So you know, it, it, it's gotta be for love. It's gotta be for the heart. It can't be for infatuation. Infatuation is not good. You understand me? A relationship cannot build from infatuation. It's got to be from love, based on definitely love. So I think that's what saved me and, me and my wife, because she have seen through my faults. She have seen through the um, what would I say? What, what, what were the material things? I mean, when I met her, she. I mean, oh dear, I didn't even. To be honest, when I met her, it was more of friendship. I didn't really see myself. In a relationship. <laughs> it was more a friendship because you're young, in it. So I didn't really meet her as in, you know what? We're gonna be together today and have pick me and get married. No, the truth, the, the truth is. I think, but didn't realize that them that was your um, brothers. Well, that, yeah. that helped the situation that, yeah. because. You know, you hear so much story of yard man come to England and they just want to this and want to do that. But when I found out, tell them anything, man. Was, tell them when them when them things say. Then things say when a man from Jamaica come to England, they want any man want a papers. But anyway, yeah. So because I found so what? anyway, let's go back to where we was from the beginning. Like yeah. we're in Tesco, we're in as I don't even know where it was, but one of them stores. And yeah, basically, um, yeah, my friend was like, oh no nah, no. Nah, nah. He's not good enough, so and so not gonna accept that and da -da 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 -da, whatever. But then some of them would look at me and be like, Wow, how come you and I don't last it that long? Do you get what I mean? How did you and Ronaldo how come you and Ronaldo are still together? I didn't expect it to last because he's wanted, you understand me? But let me tell you something, young girls, I'm still young. You see them young men them that you're going for that have the six pack, have the nice car, have the nice clothes. Not saying that when I don't have nice clothes or that he's not nice or whatever, you get me? But you know which kind of man them I'm talking about that you girls are running down. Some of you girls are running them down and some of them don't even want you, you get me? Because they think that they're better than you. If you, you don't want a man that thinks that they're better than you. You need a man that looks at you as the queen. The queen up yes so you get me that like you don't even have to like run down you understand me but some some of you are looking for them man them and then they're, they're, they're not none, i'm not saying all of them are bad but some of them are no good the problem is they have holy for women they love themselves so much yeah, they, they spend more time than a woman yes and then they, then they've got a woman here there and everywhere come on we know this you get me we've all been there some of us have been there do you know what i mean so um yeah, sometimes we need to look beyond looks and look behind beyond the nice car. Do you understand me? But before I met Ronaldo, I, I was talking to other people with nice car and you know what I mean? Had that kind of look that everybody would have run down. But then I look at them now and they're locked up in prison. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I could have been with them and been a single mom with my kids. Could be a prison as well. Or I could have been in prison because I could have been holding, God forbid, I could have been holding drugs for them. I could have been in the car with them when they're selling drugs or whatever. We just don't know. You understand me? Because the things that I see now on the TV, certain people I see around now, I didn't, I don't expect them to be in a lifestyle that they're in now. And I used to hang around with them and be with them. And this is the thing that we have to think about. So, yeah. I'm just saying, like, it's not about the looks and not about the car. Yes, it's the, they should have uh, they should have money coming through because you know it takes two to run a relationship, especially when you're trying to buy a house and do whatever. Two to clap. Yeah, so I understand that, but sometimes we need not to be young-minded or what's the word? Materialistic. No, it's not material. I can't remember the word. But you yeah. mean um, the big word, eh? I don't know. We, we, sometimes we need to look beyond looks, and you know what I mean. 
And let me tell you something. You know what another important thing is? That you both can pray. You both know God. You understand what I mean? Because I'm telling you, so when you both know God, and the two of you come down with prayer together, God can move mountains. If you're both on the same page, it's good. I'm not saying for you that you must go church, you know. I'm not, no, I'm not, no, I'm not into that. I'm not saying that they must run and have to sit down in church in order to receive a blessing. I'm not here to push that down nobody's throat. Yes, you, I believe that church is a great place well, to go. I'm not here to do that. I'm yeah, here to that, that the Bible said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Yes, you and can all things worship God and whatever. I'm not you. saying that you have to go to church. I'm, I'm not here to push that down your throat. That's not me, you understand me? But what I am saying is, um, if, you know, if you both on one, is it one accord? That is really good. When I met Ronaldo, Ronaldo was on like I'm like on Accord One. Ronaldo's on Accord Ten Thousand and One. His oh, yeah, attitude what? was stink. What? Wait, Remember, your attitude was so stink back then. What? Really? So I was like quiet oh. and like we Who was quiet? me. You ever quiet? You hit? draw me out. So yeah, I never forget when I uh, them time there I first met Ronaldo. Actually, I believe this was just not long after his county pennies. He pulled up outside a fruit shop. <laughs> Do you remember? Uh, uh, carry on, I'm at the carry on. And I'm in the car. <laughs> and the parking ticket wouldn't put a ticket on your car. Remember? Is it? Oh. And right. I'm, in, I'm in some ghetto area. I might even well, like. I yo, the area was run down. I was frightened to move or anything because it just looked rough. Like, I was so scared. So when he come and put the thing in the car, I was like, oh my gosh, what should I do? What should I do? So Ronaldo come outside before the man um, moved off, and Ronaldo got the parking ticket, scrunch it up, and dash it straight in the man's face. That is how rude he is. But Used God to can be. change people. Used to God be. change people. I won't do that now. He wouldn't do that now. But when I met Ronaldo, that's another thing. He wasn't. He wasn't the calmest of people. He was very rude. He was very disrespectful. The things I used to see him go on with. I was disrespectful. You, so what do you, what do you call throwing the, the thing in the man's face? Oh, that was just a bit of aggression. That's disrespectful? No. If I, when I, if I did screw up something like in your face, you'd be like, how disrespectful is that? Well, that was... You're violating the man. Me do You violated the man. When you violated my car. What do you mean? The car's my property. Don't touch my car. But you parked on the wrong thing. Still my car. You shouldn't put it on public car. You understand me? So, what, okay, people, I'm just joking. I mean, um, <laughs> no, what is he talking about? <laughs> yeah, 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 I mean, if that's their job, I mean, um, but then, uh, yeah, she's right. Um, I, I don't think I was disrespectful. I wasn't, I, I don't think I'm, a, I'm ever a disrespectful person. I'm a very humble guy, really. But now, with with me, I think even then. Well, you, you were with, humble. With, you with were humble. Me. You weren't like you didn't think you were better than anybody or going like you top notch. But you were humble, but you had a streak to you, like a very bad streak. Not like I uh, have yeah, a streak I would to say, me. I would say I would say that I, I was really aggressive. If you um, if you mess with me, I, I will. I got my hands are nimble. I, I knock you out right away. But that that was then. That was the old him. That was the old me. I mean, and what the guy did that day, I don't think I had a good day. I think I think I had a crappy day as well. And the last you want to see somebody put it in from a car glass, bought 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 ticket. And I just came from Jamaica as well, so I was. I'm not saying that all Jamaicans are aggressive, but at the time. And he was young. He's only about twenty-five. I was really young at the time, so. But well, not that young. So you I know, really, men grow up, boys grow up different. Yeah, so I really, I, I, at the time, at the time, the last thing I wanted to see was this man putting this on my car, lifting up my wiper blades. I think, I, I think it's the, the point that I saw him lifting up my wiper blades. I'm sure my wiper blade was giving some issue as well, you know, before that. So I don't know if that's what riled me up because he could have broke it off. So I was like, Bridge, you know what I do, and just treat his face. I wouldn't do that now. I definitely wouldn't because why? I'm in this country for a long time now. I get to understand the system of this. In fact, that was my first ticket out as well. So I, I didn't. I don't think I really understand as well. But now, since system work and everything, I would not dare to park on the line like that, and then be rude. I'm not saying. I'm not saying I don't park on the line because I do when there's no parking. 
and if it's a short stop for about five minutes, I, I, I do that. But if I'm gonna like abuse anyone like that in a job, I won't do that. <coughs> yeah, so yeah, I think that what we're gonna do is just one day really sit down and talk about the things that me and Ronaldo have actually been through as um, a couple in our relationship. Um, even running up to our wedding day. Well, you know what I mean? Wedding day. So like, I think that, you know, we'll just give you a snippet, but I think that if, if you guys knew what we've been through, this is why we are, are so strong. Yep. Like, no, no, no. You can't I, come between us. Yeah. You, you can try, but you can't yeah, come between you, us. I mean, there's a only. I mean, while I mean, can feel the force is sometimes of some very negative and um, aggressive negative energies trying to rip us apart, you know. But you know what? God, me serve you know. So you see, I don't know how to try. We can slow us down, but we can't stop us. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that is so true. I, you know. As much as Ronaldo said that we argue, we don't argue. We, just, we do. We, no, you, we don't argue. We disagree. Disagreement is different to arguments. Arguments more aggressive. Well, that's fine though. I mean, we look, don't look, argue. look, 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 look. So, whether, you, whether you call it disagree or argument, I think personally it's very healthy for a relationship. But I don't. What, 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 I, what is one word I always say to her? Even at the at the steepest point of our argument or disagreement, let's not be let, let's be careful of the words that you use or we use, because words are like a, a bullet. You hear me? So the Bible said, you, 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 you know your mouth, your, your tongue is the smallest of bone, but at the strongest, your tongue can kill. You know what I mean? What you say can come to pass. You know, so, so I'm not little, but I'm not bothered about the way we, we, we disagree and argue. Like just a minute ago on the way there, he, he wound me up. He was very rude to me. I don't think I was rude to you. I was just being firm. But with my wife... Why are you pity? No, you haven't pity. About but, firm. Yeah, but firm means Something we need to stern. be with you. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 but she never really like it. With my wife, when you, when you, when you oppose her, you get, you, she get angry, but I mean, it ain't about to be too tough. I'm used to that. But as a man, sometimes you have to remain on your feet, you know, you can't be cowed down by people. You know what I mean? And at the time, I think I did the right thing at the right time. Basically, I was hungry and you didn't want to take me to McDonald's. Yeah, because McDonald's, Definitely on was on the wrong side of the road. But, being, but I had Starbucks and Subway instead, which yeah. was better than the McDonald's. Exactly. You see, sometimes us women go on like, yeah. um, go on a bit bad. Mm. But when you sit down and realize what's better, Starbucks or and Subway or exactly. Mackey's, like. So, I've, so eventually, I was getting the good stuff. I was offered the good mm -hmm. food, and I was declining it for the bad food. Exactly. <laughs> so what so kind of foolishness? Eventually, <laughs> Makira got Starbucks and she got Subway and all them sitting there. And she really enjoyed it. If she got to McDonald's, ugh, everybody used to McDonald's. I mean, come on. Like you know what I mean? But, I eat McDonald's for a living. Oh, yeah, she does. She can cook. You know, good cook as well, but she don't like cooking. But she's a good I don't cook. have to cook. Why? Because <laughs> <laughs> you want to that to cook. Ah! You well, mommy, you cook on Sundays? No, your daddy is that is for to cook. Dad that, that doesn't need to cook. You anymore. know, when you cook, I eat better. There you go. You do when you cook, cause you cook. You, she cook more healthy people. She's a more healthy cooker than I me. I can and cook, you know. People think I can't cook, I, you know. I, I cook a lot of starchy stuff and carbohydrate stuff, a lot of rice and dumpling and all that. When she cooks, she really. She, I mean, she do mostly English thing, but. But no, I she don't. Do? Well, they do the most English thing in it. Yeah, but dude, but I can, I can, I can it, fry it. chicken, I can fry dumpling, I can do mutton, I can do the whole whack. I just don't. You can fry dumpling? Yeah, we can fry dumpling. You know what? that I can fry dumpling. Oh, yeah, fry dumpling. I haven't ever seen When I just stop it. You know that I can fry dumpling. Don't, oh, don't have me like. I'm not going for this. You do this all the time. You know that I can fry dumpling? My oh, dumpling is better than. All right, then I'll show you what time it is. I'll remind you. You say you don't even remember now. Good I haven't fried dumpling since 2017. She do a good axe steel and. 
I think she's done. I think she. I, I, a fried chicken? You, you might not believe this. And I think fish? Until now, I said she do be probably one of the best oxy I ever had. I think she Googled it still. But nevertheless, me, me Google sometime. I mean, <laughs> when, oh, when we get stuff. I didn't Google Yeah, man. It. So, yeah, no. Yeah, she she, she, she found information no. really well. You know what I mean? Yeah. She found information really well. And she did the best turkey. Cook, you, you know what? You know what? Yeah, what? My, my turkey you did the yeah, you know what makes me laugh? When I get um, Jamaican women, especially because I'm with a Jamaican man, a Jamaican woman say, Can you cook? Yes, I can cook. Yes. Alright, people. So we pull up outside our mother house now. Yeah. yeah. This video has, is going to take for two hours if you want it to. Really that I want it to. Alright. Yeah, man. Somebody just turn up now and then. I'll turn up and please. And that's my brother. Mm. Anyway, guys. Nice talking to you. We'll do a deeper review next time. Well, a chit chat next time. One sec. Later. One sec. Okay, bye. Same thing. Now, oh, yeah. It's in there. The bad boy. That. Well, bad boy in a positive way, not the not the not the horrible way. Bad boy in a positive way. Bad boy for Christ. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. So peace out. What's peace out. Issue? Peace out. Catch an earnest oh, blog, people. I'm gonna post. I'm gonna keep posting blogs every day now if I can in this lockdown here. Yeah. So until then, catch you. Hey, social distance. <laughs>